not for the first time between Dublin and Kerry in the league. It's a draw match here, n never mind the All-Ireland Championship uh, final a couple of years ago as well. Very entertaining finale here. Uh, Dublin looked like they had the game completely in control. They had uh, a lot of goal chances in the first half. Even just for Con O'Callaghan alone, I had five goal chances in the first half. He converted two of them. He fisted one off the post at the very start of the game after a fist pass through. I think that was by... Um, by, uh, yeah, he did a 1-2 with Niall Scully, who ended up getting man of the match on the TV and uh, could have scored a goal there. There was an opportunity. He had another one saved, I think, late, later on in the half. And in the 33rd minute, when Paddy Small knocked one over the bar, there was an opportunity to just fist it over to Conor Callan. That would have been an easy uh, fisted score. But at the start of the second half, I think the advantage that Dublin... Uh, accrued in the first half looked like it was really rammed home and it was it was becoming a little bit disparaging for Kerry because Carmel Costello scored a point to make it 3-7 to, to 0-9 and this was just approaching as the 40th minute was about to, to was just about to tick in onto the clock and Dublin had, had held the ball from the start of the half now there was a short little injury break for one of the, the Kerry players but other than that Dublin just completely dominated the ball and held on to it and Kerry couldn't get near it but that seemed like that was going to be the signal for, for Dublin to just walk away with this game. And you started to wonder, are we going to have an All-Ireland Championship at all this year? Um, well, or certainly a challenge from Kerry after the way last year went. But of course, with the devastation of last year, maybe you know there's a sort of an idea that we're going to throw the sh shackles off a little bit here and not kind of just sit back and, and lose as we did against Cork last year by playing maybe a little bit too cautiously. That that seems to be an awful lot of the message coming out, that it was too cautious last year. And the team started to push up a little bit more. Um, so after that 3-7-9, that to nine, or that score to make it that, Kerry went on and scored points through Paul Ganey, who was then taken off straight away. Dara Moynihan, a hat-trick of points from, from Clifford. Now, it was a long time coming before Dublin finally got their next shot on target in the 50th minute. So you're waiting over 10 minutes in the second half where Kerry just completely dominated. Paddy Small with a lovely ball and uh, Cormac Coslow burned through and fisted it over the bar. But Dublin really were under awful pressure and just they had just three uh, shooting attempts in the third quarter of the game whereas Kerry just completely took over and got point after point and brought it back to 3-8 to 15 points so obviously very very close at that particular point and then a few more scores from Sean O'Shea who was one of the few players that really stood out for Kerry in the first half he was winning turnovers and he won turnovers in both the first and second half and it coincided with Kerry and as I'm saying throwing off the shackles a little bit pressing higher up the field and chasing after Dublin whereas you know earlier in the game it just seemed that Dublin could cruise up the field and no real concerns and even though Kerry were dropping off at times or like whatever sort of press they were putting on there was still opportunities for Dublin to kick the ball in long like time and time throughout the game you could see that Dublin were willing to do that take the throw in what was maybe generally considered a 50-50 ball going high and long like Niall Scully the way he set up that ball for uh, Paul Murphy uh, well Con against Paul Murphy Scully with his right boot just kind of half seemed to shank it in but he was obviously trying to put it into the square and Con muscled out uh, Paul Murphy and you could actually see that from early doors as soon as the turnover happened that when you saw Con one on one with, with Paul Murphy in there physically that's going to be a very tough matchup for anybody never mind somebody who's a little bit of a smaller profile as Murphy is and you know lo and behold it ended up with a goal but Dublin were looking for that long ball all day uh, Kieran Kilkenny is very tough in the air Con as I said and John Small even tried one in the second half as well uh, a couple of other times Niall Scully had done it so clearly it must be a tactic um, and I think part of it might be born of the idea that defenders kind of when they, t they almost defend at front at times and seen the likes of Jason Foley and Morley and Obiogli at times they're defending from the front to sort of cut out the option uh, of a ball out in front of their marker so at times that means they're going to have to look back and see where their marker is at the same time. So they're going to be turning away from the ball. So if a high ball goes into the area, that gives the attacker a great chance because his marker is having to turn and look both ways and that puts him in an awkward spot. So you can see why a defender or why the attacker would want to do that. But during the first half, I thought Kerry were, were falling apart, actually, I have to say. They started off quite well and just I'm going to look through some of my stats here. And, uh, and have a little look. So Kerry had started off quite well. We're four points to one ahead. David Clifford had scored. Sean O'Shea, who I said was one of the few forwards who did well throughout the game. Uh, Dermot O'Connor scored. Uh, Poddy Clifford got him got himself a point in the 19th minute. And Dermot O'Connor got another. Dermot O'Connor was very good, actually, overall. But um, 
I, I just made a couple of notes that a um, bit of a carry breakdown from around the 20, 25th minute onwards. I noticed one of the defenders, Brian O'Brugley, was sort of doubled over for a while trying to catch his breath. Then um, he, he played a ball up to Paul Ganey, who was wing forward. He did a little easy spill for n no real reason. Gavin White then, a minute later, carried the ball into into contact, I think, with Kieran Kilkenny. He, he was down for a minute. Then uh, a Brian, Brian, Brian Fenton with a turnover on David Moore, who was sort of isolated and struggling to get away from him. And uh, he had a bit of a chase in throughout the game as well. And Fenton got a point a minute later. And then, uh, like, Potty, I think, uh, there was a bit of pressure. Potty Clifford had a bit of pressure on from Robbie McDade, uh, kicked the ball inside, and it was cut out by uh, James McCarthy. And that led to the, uh, a con goal chance saved at the other end. So to me, just before half time, Kerry were very, very much struggling physically to keep into Dublin. So I sort of wondered for the second half, would they be able to, to, to kick on? But I mean, you have to take into account as well that they were right, trying to ride out that storm of Dublin be overwhelming them or having a real purple patch going into the half time. But at the same time, Kerry had that horrible, advan um, horrible advantage rule come against him because um, it was uh, Dara Moynihan was cutting in from the byline, knocked the ball into the back of the net, but of course it was brought back for an advantage free. If that goes into the net, it levels the game at 1 8 2 5. Instead, it's a point from a free from Sean O'Shea and up the other end, Paddy Small and uh, Khan. They add on 1 1 just before the break, which is a fairly devastating uh, couple of scores to concede. And then once once Dublin have got that first goal, a score of the second half through Cormac Oslo, kind of really thought that this game could be could be won by anything because Dublin looked like they had a free score. But it was a case of Kerry pushing up that a little bit better. And um, I, th I think they're going to take a lot from it. It was a, a very entertaining game. Not quite Damaris Fitz 20 years ago, that equaliser type of drama. And it would have been great stuff if we had a crowd here. I know we keep saying that. But um, no substitutes scored. Um, some substitutes did okay. I think Jack Sherwood had a tough game, tough day at the office. Didn't really happen for him. Uh, the penalty at the end, my view of it, looked like it was a definite penalty. Tommy Walsh didn't really make much of an impact when he came in. But he padded down a ball nicely for Stephen O'Brien to collect penalty, and I don't think anyone in the ground expected David Clifford uh, to miss. So he he put up, um, I think it was one six, one five, one six that he got. Uh, Conor Callahan scored two, one very good. Cormac Costello with a couple of goals, he was good. Paddy Small until he got injured, and John Small going off injured as well. So it's going to be a case of like who's going to be fit and flying for the rest of the championship. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Entertaining game here. I was concerned that Kerry were going to get battered with the way things were going and that Dublin would just march on. A couple of their players looked to be an even finer fettle than they were beforehand. Uh, Sean Bugler, for example, has filled out even more. Um, Colin Baskell looked like he's in great nick too. The likes of Dean Rock to come back. Uh, so both, both teams have got plenty from this and uh, delighted to get another outing. And I think it makes a feel that we might uh, have a massive clash between these two teams later in the summer and let's hope we do so let me know what you think of this game